Well, this, uh, this work is a cooperation work with a, a freelance, a, a freelance uh, software engineer that is called uh, Rod uh, Rodrigo Borrego. Then uh, he talked with my group just in order to have a, a collaboration in order to define uh, an agile methodology for his daily work. And it was so interesting for us because first we find uh, a software engineer that wants to, to have a methodology in his daily uh, work. And it's interesting for us just in order to try to, to have this, uh, the outcome of this collaboration just in order to uh, teach uh, to the software engineering students that they could have a simple but a practical uh, methodology for their practice and just in order to introduce to the software development methodologies. Because uh, when we uh, teach them the typical software engineering methodologies, they are thought for very few uh, teams or the agile uh, proposals are for uh, small teams, but uh, when uh, we ask them to uh, develop a practice or to develop a project, is individual project or a couple of persons working in the project. Then it, it could be an interesting idea. Rodrigo uh, wants to be here, but is waiting to be father these, these days, and then he decided to stay at home, and I have to, to make the presentation. Okay, the chairman uh, asked me that I had to be uh, brief, then I could. Then the motivation, more or less, is what I'm explaining at the moment. It's a need of, for a daily use of a software development methodology as a professional software developer, but as individual one. It's a freelance. It's a person that is enrolled in different kind of projects, but only in, in an individual way. He, it, he has no, no team. He has to, to develop, to deploy the outcomes. Then, he want to take advantage of the uh, software methodology with this kind of goals, having qualitative and quantitative data of the current state, improving productivity and result quality, improving flexibility to change, minimizing the rights, and again, the methodology was thought just in order to be used by one only person. Then, he wants to have a pragmatic view of the methodologies for a single developer and is to be used in the real. Then it's not only as a, an academic uh, exercise, no, it's want to be used. And uh, this methodology has been tested in 18 real projects. Why? Because when he choose, chose other uh, agile methodologies, find that this kind of methodologies require help from mentors as in order to introduce in the organizations. The agile proposals are so based on communication skills and if, if I work alone, who is my stakeholder to communicate or who is my partner to, to, to talk about or to review the, the code? And usually tasks and roles are distributed, distributed among several people. That's yeah, the problem. I'm the only one. Then he defines that freelance as a team, proposal, taking into account the different, uh, oh, not all, but the most uh, outstanding uh, agile methodologies in the, in the field, Scrum especially. 
Then he proposed a strategic set of practice, 15 practice that could help him just in, in their daily work. These practice were ordered in a workflow just in order to, to, to develop the, pro the products and also uh, he found a set of auxiliary practices. For his practice, this, there is a description with a summary, guidelines, best practice, and with the workflow, we have an implantation process and a recommendation of tools to be used, but taking into account that these kind of tools could be changed. Because all we know that the different projects need different suites to develop, and also these kind of uh, tools are usually software, open software tools that are changing uh, every day. Then, if you are interested, I can give you the full description, but at, the, at this time, we're only, only to give a, a quick overview with, of the practice selected and the principles behind this methodology. We started with three very common known practice that, or principles that should be in mind in, uh, when we organize uh, software development. Especially, again, you have to take into account that it's a team composed by only one person. Then, it's important the simplicity, embrace the change, and making decisions. Simplicity, because the kind of projects that a team composed by one person can embrace are not too much complicated. Perhaps are projects that are estimated in one, two months. Then are small projects. Then simplicity is a very important decision. And also, you have to embrace the, the, the change just in order to make difference in your work. Because you are a freelance, you have to sell yourself to your clients. And also, you have to make decisions. You have to make decisions in the requirements, in, you have an incremental product, what kind of requirements or talking with the terminology of the uh, agile user histories. What user histories are going to be presented in the, in the increments of the... Well, here is the workflow. We can, uh, we, we can have uh, the opportunity to go deeper in a few moments, but these are the most important practice that are supporting, su that are supporting this, this workflow. I think if you are familiar with agile methodologies, also no. user history, stories, uh, estimation, planning, product backlog, automatic test, version control systems, and reevaluation. If you have any questions about it, perhaps we can talk about whatever you want in the coffee break. Yes, you know, to, to and what auxiliary practice, practices were uh, chosen? Well, was also so known. Refactoring, limit, limited documentation, partial prototypes, the rubber duck, and automation. Had the most funny is the rubber duck. When you have to talk with your partners, you have no partners, then you put a rubber duck in your table and say, well, what's happening? In practice, two important things. You have to acknowledge that your, your methodology in order to apply. And 
is so important, the evaluation. You have to evaluate the current status of your development. Then your tools have to give you information enough just in order to have a quick view what is happening. You have no time to go deeper to everything. Then you need to have signals that say, here is a problem. Because you are the only one. And you have to deliver the product in a short time. Then you need like a dashboard board that gives you this information visually and quickly. Taking this kind of reports. Well, the workflow, quickly. Starting, knowledge and motivation. Now the, the workflow. You have to prepare the product backlog. Then you have your product backlog. You have to create the user histories. Then you, the, the outcome is the user histories. Here, you entry in the typical agile cycle. Estimation, planning, development, review, closing iteration. Then you have to release your product, your increment usually, and start it in again. And again and again, till the, pro the product is ready to be in the backlog of maintenance. Well, important. All should be presented to the developer as a dashboard. Here is a dashboard for product backlog with different, different columns for the priorities, tasks, nothing like that, and different colors for what client mass, client should, client could. And the kind of the task you have to perform in the sprint you are involved in. Supported tools for every, for every task. User histories, estimation, control version, using, for example, with flow, the automatic test, because it's so important, the automatic test in this kind, with Code, code coverage, dashboards, and metrics. Metrics like that are so interesting if you, are, if you have partners with you that you can share this kind of review uh, processes. But you need something things more similar like this. When you see what is happening here, then I have to go to this point. Please, please, for example, like this. You see this graph and you say, here is a problem. Then I have to put effort here to solve it. Well. Conclusions. It has been developed an agile methodology for a software de development alone, and it's good. I have, it has, the, uh, the proposal is he's using it in, the, in his daily uh, work. Then it's so useful for, for him. Improve, improve the quality of products delivered to the customer, lowering risk and increasing the performance. Renounce to put in to gain flexibility and applicability. It can be applied without outside mentoring with little inter interference in the freelance daily routine, and it has been testing successful on real projects, then too, too, much, too many projects are related with the, the topic of this, of this workshop, that is learning and learning in general. Futures keep testing, evolving. Evolution is always, uh, so it's present in a methodology, better communication with the clients, improved risk management, and perhaps it has to be modified just in order to support multi multiple project management at the same time.